if you guys are watching, you must love handbags as much as I do. Today, I'm going to share the newest bag to my collection and how I was able to save a almost 40% on this particular piece. Um, so yeah, if this is your first time here, welcome. I chat through handbags of all kinds, contemporary designer, designer, contemporary, you name it. If that's something that interests you, please sus consider subscribing and press that little bell button below so you can get notified every time I do a new video. not following me on Instagram, please do. I love to chat with you guys through there and ask you questions um, about bags that I'm considering and just get your thoughts. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right in. So today um, I wanted to share a bag that I, you know, was on my, sort of on my wish list, but not, not something that I initially saw and I really liked. It's one of those bags that, okay, let's be honest, probably too many YouTube videos made me do it because I've seen this bag and the first initial reaction, I've seen it like, I don't know, in photos and in magazines. I'm just like, it's okay. It's not anything that, it's a nice bag. I just never, it never really caught my attention to the point where I would consider purchasing it. But then I kept on looking at it and I was like, you know what, this actually, this bag actually would suit my lifestyle perfectly because I've been looking for an everyday bag and you guys know, we all, if you guys love handbags, we rotate through handbags. There's a bag for every occasion. There's a bag for every day. Um, yes, that I still believe that is true, but I wanted a bag that I could use, you know, to match every outfit. If I didn't want to like plan out what I wanted to wear, I just wanted to grab and go, this would be the bag. It works for day, it works for night, it works for work, it works for weekends. Um, and it's a size that's not too big where I'm gonna be turned off. I don't want to carry it because it's too heavy. And I didn't want a bag that was too small where I'm like carrying half the things on my hand because I can't even manage to squeeze in um, everything into my bag. So when I saw this, I was like, you know what? This actually would work in my wardrobe. It's one of those bags that's classic enough. And also, if you guys been watching my videos and following me, you know that I love, love, love a top handle. And I just love it because it's convenient. Like sometimes I just want to grab it. Sometimes I want to wear it in the crook of my arms. And with a top handle, you just get that variety. Um, so the bag I actually really been eyeing is the Chanel mini top handle bag and, and the caviar. So I know that that one is very hard to get right now. Um, I think the new collection is the one they switched over to lambskin which, you know, I love lambskin, it's beautiful. I have it on my 19, but it is something that I wouldn't use for every day because, you know, just me, myself, I would wanna make sure that it's in perfect condition and I would get worried. So when I saw this bag, I'm not saying that this is apples to apples, but it reminded me of that same look, but more casual, more, a little bit more edgy. And that's definitely, I would say, fit into something that fits into my wardrobe. So. Before I continue, let's just, let me just show you what I, that is this right here. This is the Balenciaga Hourglass in a size small. Um, and this comes in so many different colors. It comes in, so when I first saw this, I actually saw this um, on another YouTuber's video. Um, and I loved it because she had this in this beautiful lilac color and I wanted it in the lilac actually. Um, but I went to Balenciaga to actually look at it and as beautiful as it is, it's just not something that would match in, you know, every outfit. And I felt like it would just be one of those bags that just would sit there on display and I don't want that. So, and as boring as, you know, a neutral bag is, black matches everything. So I love that and I love gold. I'm definitely, a, if I had to pick between silver and gold hardware, gold will always be my number one just because I don't mind mixing metals, but gold is just something that draws to me. So yeah, I decided that, you know what, if I wanted something for every day, it would have to be in this color, but they do have this in blue and they have it in different textures in the croc embossed. So I'm going to drop everything here so you guys can see. This also comes in another smaller, it's called a um, XS, so extra small size, which is, I would say, I think this is about, yeah, in length, this is probably like eight and a half to nine inches. I'll drop the specs below. 
Um, but I believe the Chanel Mini with the top handle is probably seven and a half, eight. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's probably something very similar. It's smaller than this, but not by a lot. And then um, the extra small, I think, is... I don't even think that one will fit like a X, like a 12 Pro Max. So if you are considering the smaller, the extra small size, just know that if you have a bigger phone, it most likely will not fit. But the small is definitely the best um, size for me just because I wanted something not big, not super small, fits my, you know, essentials, but I didn't want it to be heavy. And I love the smooth leather on this. Let me show you. I love the smooth leather because of the fact that it just has like a really clean, simplistic look. Um, and the croc is beautiful, but I just don't know if croc matches my style. Plus I feel like, the, so the pro on that is that I feel like it might be a little bit more durable. As you guys know, soft leather. This is, I believe, calfskin leather scratches in time but how the essay at balenciaga um, explained it to me was that if you were to get scratches on this um the point of this leather is to wear it and then the scratches eventually will blend itself out and age better than if you were to get like a pebble leather it doesn't age as well as a smooth leather when it comes to balenciaga bags so just know that if you're considering it although it's smooth leather i heard and i've seen reviews that this is still pretty durable so yeah definitely um take that into consideration when getting it so yeah so all it is is a very basic bag right it's, it's in this hourglass shape hence name hourglass um and the sides look like this just do a little turn over here love this back pocket it obviously it's not gonna hold a lot because it is like a really tight back pocket almost like you know chanel back pockets it's very, very tight, but you know, you could fit like a mask or receipts, cards, whatever, that thin, thin flat items in there. You actually could get a phone in there too, but it might stretch the leather. So I might do it occasionally, but not on an everyday basis. And then it's gold hardware like this, it turns. So it has that flexibility. So this obviously is removable. It's just a clasp like this. And these little notches here, push down so if I were to remove these that could push down flat and I could just hold it like this so that's another um you know kind of small unique value proposition to the bag and the holes throughout the strap go all the way around most people that I've seen reviews on this bag love it because it really caters to your height whether you're tall you know what I'm five six so I think for me um you know, like a pretty, I would say like over here fits me the best. But if you're shorter, you can obviously adjust it to any way. Or if you're taller, you can adjust it anyway. I personally don't think that this, they didn't really need to put holes all the way around. I mean, we get the point, right? It's adjustable, but why all the way around? I didn't see the point of that. Not a pro or con for me. It's just more like I didn't really see the design aspect of that. However, love the bag nonetheless. Um, and it is just with a magnetic button opens up like this. I do have stuff in here already. And then you can see the back pocket is just a little gold with a little gold zipper it says Balenciaga right here on the top of the bag. And again, the inside is all the same leather. So it's leather all around the bag inside and outside. <music> I'm going to talk about what's inside my bag so you can see what fits inside so if you're considering this bag you'll be able to gauge like this will my essentials fit in here is it enough space for me okay so really quickly you guys can see this is what the bag looks like this is just one big pocket it doesn't actually have that organi organization aspect which you know, for a small bag, you really don't want that divider or anything in that because it takes up room. So you, an open space is actually good for a smaller bag. But sometimes things obviously still get a little bit loose in there. So I have this like cute little um, bag I just put in there to put some of my stuff I use, like my perfume, chapstick, my vitamins and things like that because I try putting in like a catch-all like makeup pouch or 
you know, just a zip up pouch, something like that. It does take up a lot of room and it just, it doesn't make sense to do that. So I wanted something really thin. I figured this is flimsy enough. Um, it doesn't matter. I know where it is. I can always switch it out. So yeah, I just have chopsticks. You know, I keep my vitamins in there and then my sample of my Louis Vuitton perfume I put in there that just sits in a little Ziploc like this and it works perfectly for me. Like I've always mentioned, every bag has its own needs. Um, and when a small bag, you really don't wanna put too many pouches and things in there. It really just takes up room. Um, okay, and then I have my Tiger Rock wallet. You guys have seen me do a review on this. If you haven't, I will drop my video below. But yeah, this wallet is amazing because I've mentioned it fits so many cards and it's thin. So with a small bag like this, a thin wallet is key. Um, I love my Recto Verso Louis Vuitton wallet, but it is thicker because it has that front envelope. It also has like the, um, the key fob that hangs off of it. And because this is leather all the way around, I don't want to baby it necessarily, but I want to be mindful that things like that with sharp edges could potentially scratch up the leather and I don't want that to happen. So therefore, this wallet is perfect for this particular bag. Okay, I do have my key pouch in here where I put my keys. I like to put my keys in the key pouch sometimes versus the six ring key holder, um, depending on the back size. And that will help prevent my keys from scratching the inside of my bag. Also, I have my Loxetane lotion, my favorite lotion right here. Um, I keep it in my Zumoni little pouch that came in my organizer um, just because Oops, the edges to the lotion is sharp, so drop that, but so that way this will protect that. Okay, little mini sanitizers in there just in case. Little pouch in here if I wanna take off my jewelry. Have my little compact mirror, again, super thin. I don't really carry makeup with me anymore. Um, if I'm going out for like long days, I might stick like an eyeliner or, you know, um, compact things like that. But because most of the times I, I do in the morning, I don't need to touch up or anything. I just keep a mirror. And obviously this will fit a lot more, right? This will fit, you know, I could put in a hand sanitizer still, a mask, um, anything like that. Even sunglasses I think will fit. I just didn't want, I don't like stuffing things to the max. But again, I'll just keep my mask back there. So you guys can see the inside looks just like that. And then in this little back pocket, I just have you know, little alcohol wipes just in case I need to clean my phone or something. And then it has this Balenciaga tag in here. So yeah, that's what's inside my bag. Just really quickly, I didn't share the B right here. I still have my protected on it because I actually just packed my bag yesterday. So I've actually never taken this out. So if you guys are interested, once they start using it, I'll let you know a review on the wear and tear and how it works on it every day. But yeah, so here is that, and you can see it just says Balenciaga right there, um, like a very, very substantial B, um, very clean. And if you didn't even know the brand, you wouldn't know what brand this was. And that's what I love about this bag, it's very minimal. Okay, so now that we've gone through what's inside my bag, let's talk about the pros and cons initially to this bag. And again, I haven't really used it, so I don't have like an in-depth, but just the first thing I've noticed is, so the pros is I just love the way this looks and I love the way that this wears. Um, and I'll do a couple of mod shots for you guys, just so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like worn. But I love the fact that it just looks so cute and I never thought I would like something like this, but I really like it. So yeah, looks, right? And I love the fact that it's just like a really basic bag, but easy to use. So it just has one big pocket, no dividers or anything. And you guys know, love the top handle. Love the fact that this is adjustable. This comes off, it even says Balenciaga on that right there. These turn flat, top handle, back pocket, all pros in my book. Negative, and this is just from what I'm thinking is, um, and I think in time this will become more flexible, but as I open this, 
It is a little bit harder to open. It can be good and bad because, you know, you want it to close tightly because you don't want anybody getting inside your bag. But I think a couple of times you might have to use a little strength to pull it open. And the handle, if you're wearing a crossbody, will probably hit against your body a little. So you need to like, I think what you need would need to do is open it slightly and then go around and get that. So it's just like a little, something you have to get used to. It doesn't really bother me, but again, I haven't used a bag, so it might <laughs> when I start using it, but that's just some initial things. Next thing, let's talk about price. So I will drop all the details below so you guys can see. And so I don't know, and this is by no means sponsored, but I've been using Ebates um, before. This is like years ago just because if you get in that habit and you they do like 1%, 2%, uh, up to 20% on different things, different days have different percentages off and you're just able to check and you can use these on everyday items like on Amazon, you know, Target, department stores. It just really depends, right? They have a lot of different varieties of library of different stores and partners they work with where you can get a discount. And what you do is you go through the website and then you click, you search for the name of the store you're looking for, and it'll tell you that day the percentage off. And if that's the store you want to shop on, you just have to click on shop now, and that takes you directly to that site. So that site is amazing because it just goes into your account. So if you're saved like $20 here, $30 there, it definitely adds up, especially if you're not doing anything for it. It's a free, it's a free membership. Um, but if you actually, I believe, um, so right now it's called Rakuten. So same thing, eBay's just turned a different name, Rakuten. So Rakuten.com, I'll drop it below if you guys are interested. But yeah, it's great. So they did this sale um, where they were doing 20% to Sith Avenue. And then I was like, oh, there's no way. That's a lot, right? Because it's on the whole website. And I'm like, there's no way 20% on anything at Saks could actually potentially be a lot. And this was actually, when I tried it on this particular bag, it worked. So I was able to get 20% off of the market price on this, which automatically, I think it took like three, two to three days. They say 48 hours, but I think it took a little bit longer for this particular bag, but it hits your account. And then that account, that money goes into your account. You can cash that out whenever you want. There's different ways that you can, there's different ways you can cash out, but there is a way to do so. Um, so I was able to save 20%, which I was ecstatic about because originally I was going to purchase this bag through, you know, um, my Teresa or Netta Porter or something like that because it's cheaper to get it through there. But then you sometimes have to pay custom fees, things like that, which adds up. You're not saving that much, but you're still saving. But if you're going to return it, sometimes it's just a little bit more hassle because of the distance uh, from US to UK, things like that. So... With that said, I was like, okay, well, this is perfect because, you know, Saks is everywhere. So I can always take it in the store if something were wrong, it's guaranteed. I mean, obviously that money would get subtracted from the Rakuten account, but that's fine. I'm okay with it. So I got it and I was like, oh, this bag is so cute. But I did notice like, um, you know, a, not like it's a big deal, but I did notice like, I don't know if you guys can see, but on this, hardware right here there are some scratches and then right here on the handle there is like a little intent nothing nothing major and honestly can live with it but i had called sax and i said i just wanted to know if i can exchange the bag um however i don't want to do a no return or anything like that because if you do a return i will obviously lose that 20 percent i purchased off of rakuten just want to do an exchange right i i don't want to you know, I don't want to do anything else other than that. And they're like, oh, okay, you know, I think we're really low in inventory. Um, if you want to wait, we can do that. Or another option is we can just give you 20% off because it's damaged and that way you wouldn't have to wait. And I was like, oh, wow, that's actually really good. And at first I'm like, well, I mean, these are so minor. I didn't, wasn't expecting that. I just wanted to do an exchange. But I mean, 20%, I felt like, I'm just going to shop with you all the time because customer service was so amazing. So yeah, I was able to do that plus Rakuten and then that really helped save a good amount on this bag, which I was super excited for. It's one of those things when you're not expecting anything, but when you have good customer service and you're working with a good department store or good, um, you know, good essay in other cases, it really makes a difference, right? It just makes you appreciate them so much more and makes you want to obviously go back and shop there. So it's a win-win, I think. 
So yeah, that's how I was able to save so much on this bag um, without any expectations. I was really happy. So yeah, last thing, I just want to show you what this looks like on me. So you guys can see I am 5'6", and this is how the bag looks on me. Um, I am wearing such a casual outfit, so obviously just a sweatshirt, some biker shorts, but see how this bag just works with any outfit. It's, it works on this, it gives it like a sporty look. I've seen a lot of people do this. I feel like it just looks really good. Um, it will look good with layered layers too. So if I were, were to wear that sweatshirt with just like a jean jacket, that would look like this. It looks good too. Um, and obviously you could dress this up if I were to wear high heels, a dress, a sundress, or maybe even like a blazer. This will look perfect with it too. So just wanted to give you guys an idea of what that looks like on. But yeah, that's just wanted to give you guys an idea of what that looks like on. But yeah, that is it, you guys. This is the Balenciaga Hourglass Bag in Size Small. So if you guys are considering getting this bag or have any curiosities on just how it looks and how it wears, um, hopefully this video helps a little bit. And if you guys want to see a follow-up review on the wear and tear and my thoughts on it, let me know. But like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.